Hello, welcome to this series about Laravel Nova. Laravel Nova is a new product developed by Taylor Otwell mostly, also David Hampel and uh, Steve Schroeder. And they basically developed uh, an administration panel for your Laravel web applications. So it's a very fancy product that was made and released, uh, let's say it was made for some months and then released some weeks ago. Uh, just some days before the Laracon US. And here you can see that uh, Taylor and de developed this website talking a bit about how does it look like, and you can see it here on Laravel Nova, this print screen, and also uh, the main functionalities that you'll have. So code-driven configuration keeps your application pure and also uses Vue and Tailwind CSS. Uh, also, it shows here some of the main eight functionalities that we have. And of course, we on this series, uh, we are going to cover all of these functionalities. And uh, it also has a great documentation. So if you click here on the documentation, you'll see here on the left, uh, all the main areas that you need to act on are here. So we are going also to go step by step on these, on these areas. And also, we are going to learn together how to develop um, a back office using these uh, these functionalities that are here. So uh, from my personal perspective, I think the way it was approached in terms of uh, releasing and using this framework for you to develop your administration panels was very innovative. It was very different from the other types of admin panels I saw. Uh, I'm not saying the other ones are better or this one better. I'm saying it is different. And for me, it allows me to have as a as a coder, as a developer, to allow to have a lot of flexibility. I want to, uh, let's say, manage my data on the on the on a back office. Uh, there are pros and cons, but that part I left for uh, for other persons to, of course, uh, post their, their their blogs on Medium and to discuss uh, and compare with other admin uh, panels. So this first lesson, we are going to start by. Um, installing Nova. So uh, let's. We are going. We are going to follow a bit here exactly in terms of what was written step by step. And this uh, series, we are going to actually use it for a practical objective that I have. So as you know, I am the I'm the the creator of Learning. So in case you don't know, if uh, well, if you are watching this, is because you know. <laughs> so here on the Learning. Uh, I have videos. I have series. And what I'm going to do is I already have a back office here on the. Uh, wave so I have a small back office that I use here to um, manage my videos and also manage my series so what I'm going to do is we are going to develop this but using Laravel Nova and of course I bought a license to do it and I'm going to use this license to uh, uh, use it on my learning uh, websites so uh, just for you to know also in case you want to um, uh, buy a license of course you need to uh, register and then you can log in and here it also uses a different approach in terms of um, the way you want to download it and also to install it. Here in just a moment, so I can put my password. And it shows you the version. So basically your license works by, ver by, by releases, by major release. So this is the first 1.0 is the Orion release. And in this case, and there is, of course, the minor releases that um, that are going to be released. And then, of course, you can click here on the download to get the package on. So we're going to do this uh, uh, slowly because in the beginning it can it can be a bit confusing because it, you do a composer update, but actually it's from a path, a local path on your computer, okay? So we're going to do it slowly again so you can see it's how we install it correctly on our, on your on your computer. So the first thing is that you, of course, you need to have your Laravel project. Nova doesn't oblige you to create a new Laravel project. You can use it already on your web applications. 5.6, 5.7, and 5.5 are supported. And in this case, uh, I just created here a new Laravel project. The only thing that I did was to change here my database. And that's it. And of course, let's see how it goes because I might do some mistakes. I'm just recording these on the fly. So let's go step by step. So the first thing that we need to do, of course, is to download the Orion version. So I'm just going to click here on download and it starts downloading. And uh, when you download it, so I'm just going to open it for you to see. So you have some serial hash code here, might be related with my license. And then inside you have the files that you need to get in. So let's now see step by step what do we say on the documentation here. So I'm just going to move a bit back again. 
or maybe uh, just click here on the documentation. And it says that there is some requirement that you need to meet. So of course, uh, that you need to meet. So of course, the composer, sorry, it's 5.6 plus, not 5.5, .5, Laravel mix, and then Node.js and NPM. Normally on your normal Laravel web applications, you already have all of these, right? So uh, it's nothing fancy here. Uh, and then it says, how do you install Nova? So you need to go to your composer JSON and you need to add this code there. So basically what this does is it creates a local, it points to a local repository on your computer, okay? So when you do a require of a package, not only it searches on the normal global repository of the composer on the packages, but also searches inside this folder, okay? So I'm just going to copy paste this to my composer.json. You can copy it somewhere, it just needs to be on the root and under your JSON, as you can see here. So type path and then something like dot slash Nova. And if you move a bit more here on the top, it says that you need to create a Nova directory. So uh, first, unzip the contents and read the Nova directory within your application's root directory. So it's important that you read all the lines because uh, I'm also seeing a lot of GitHub issues because some of those issues, if people was reading a bit more the documentation, normally they can find the solution. Uh, I'm not saying for all the issues, but at least some of them I saw that. So uh, because it is a very brand new product, it's important that you read it, read it, really read it carefully uh, because it works very differently from uh, the normal Laravel projects that are used to work on. So don't also assume a lot read it even if you have to read it twice or three times it's fine because on my case i did that because i had to really understand what was the concept behind it so here let's go back here so we just put repositories and uh, it says to create a, a nova so i'm going here to my project and i just do new folder nova because it is pointing to this url so the composer points to this nova and you search for the packages there so all you have to do now is to actually copy paste this part to this Nova that is here. Uh, and of course I cannot do like this. I'm doing just going to reveal and I'm going to copy. It's important that you copy all the files that you have there. Actually on the documentation it says, please unzip everything, even the Nova hidden files like .git ignore. So when you actually copy paste, if you have the uh, on the file explorer on the windows, like the option that says, uh, um, hidden files then you might not being able to to copy that those files I don't know uh, but just again just make sure that you really copy everything like they're saying and then it says now add Laravel Nova to the require section so I'm just going to copy paste this part uh, here on the require and uh, what this is says is that okay search for the package Nova and give me the latest version so in this case uh, it's going not it's not going to find it on the normal composer because it's a let's say kind of a private a local repository, but you will search inside this repository here because it's a type path. And then um, it will actually create a sim link, uh, a symbolic link on your vendor folder. We are going to watch this just um, almost on the fly. So it says then you need to do a composer update. So let's run that composer update here. So I'm going to go not to learning, but to wave. So wave, it's the back office code name that I have for the learning. So in this case, I'm creating a new one. So I'm going to do composer update and let's see what happens. So let's give it a moment. Starting to get some information. So I'm using a package that actually caches them. Uh, it updates uh, faster than the libraries. So let's give it a bit of a try now, a bit of waiting some seconds. Okay, so as you can see here, it already says installing Laravel Nova and it has three dependencies here that are also installed and it says dev master. So uh, normally on normal installation, you have this minimum stability dev prefer stable. It's important that you have this because sometimes if you have it on different in the stable, uh, it might not install. And actually it says here, make sure that you have the minimum stability on dev and prefer stable option to true. This will allow to install Nova while still preferring stable package reason for your application. So it's important to maintain these uh, here. And then it also explains the next steps that we need to do. So it's important that you configure a database because Nova creates, a, we are going to see a, a table, one or two tables. Uh, so here, the next step is actually to run Nova install. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to run Nova install, done. So scaffolding install. So it actually copied assets and resources, published a new service, a Nova service provider, and then generated the user 
your resource. So this is the first resource that is created on Nova and that helps like a demo for us to see how it works on. And we are going to see this just in a minute. Then we need to run the PHP migrate. So don't forget to first configure your uh, database. Okay, and then just do a migration and looks like, ah, okay, so I already have the table, the table users uh, because I'm connecting to uh, a migration that I already have here. So I'm just going to uh, truncate my table migration. So truncate table migrations. Then, and I'm going to run it again. And it says the ah, that because I already have a table user, so let me just um, remove um, this one. Actually, these two because I don't need to run them. And then again, PHP artisan migrate. Ah, and now it gives one of the first errors that we need to resolve. So this, this is a common error that we will have. This one zero seven one. It's because of the index. I'm using my SQL. And on the, uh, let's say, the new versions of Laravel, the, the index uh, key is too short, uh, too long, and then I need to put it a bit shorter. So I'm just going to copy paste a line from another uh, file that I have. So I'm going to have root developments and I'm going to open, um, or is this one? And here I'll have Nova, sorry, providers. An application service provider and the line is this one schema default string length 191 i'm just going to put it here on my providers app service provider here and of course you need to also add the namespace so if i run it again uh, php artisan migrate uh, it says that i already have a table action events so it means that it already runs here on the learning, let me just do a test, uh, action event. So it was already there. Uh, let me just remove it and run it again. PHP artisan migrate. Voila. So as you can see, uh, I already had it before. So sorry for that. So you just need to run a PHP artisan migrate and it runs this uh, create action events table. So from now on, uh, you should have lore install, um, Nova installed, sorry. Uh, and let's try it out. So if I do a PHP artisan route list, I already see a lot of information here, see? So uh, we are talking about um, a lot of APIs and things like that that we have here. And basically now we are going to test it out. But before that, you might face a problem that says also here that you need to pay attention to it's should be in my opinion in in like a this kind of color because it goes very discreetly so it's this one so basically if you see there is no nova here to test it out so if i do a php artisan serve and i go now here to my http localhost 8000 I can see that I have Laravel installed, but it says, okay, if you do a Nova, you should see something. It says, sorry, the page cannot be found. Well, why? Because we need to add the namespace on our uh, application service provider configuration file. And it says here actually what you should do, although it's a bit like, you know, hidden here. So after Windows command verify that you have this one added. Well, it's not actually verified because it's not installing it. You need to really run it here. So I'm just going to put it as a package. And then I just put class. And now if I go back here under an F5, here we go. So now we have the Laravel Nova installed here uh, and this should be your first screen that you should see. Of course, you need to fill out the fields. Normally, if you are installing from a clean um, database, uh, you might not have a user, but Nova has a command that allows you to, let's just open here a new window and I will show to you. So Nova has a command that will allow you to PHP artisan Nova. Actually, it has a lot of commands that you'll see, but it says there user, see? So Narvel user, and then you create a user like, let's do a administrator and then admin at learning.com. So just as an example and then you give it a password and it creates a user. So admin at learning that dot com. So admin at learning dot com, put a password, you log in and you're inside the dashboard of Nova. 
So this finalizes our first um, lesson here about the installation. So there was that, that small uh, hint about the application service provider because, well, for instance, in my case, I also missed that up. Uh, it also then starts to talk about things that what is like a, a, a model here that you define, but we are going to see that on the next session, on the next lesson that we'll have, okay? So I hope it was it was useful for you. And well, this is just the first step on a great path that we are going to do together to understand and to build our learning back office. Stay tuned for the next lesson. Thank you.